previously on the rap game. You guys will be battling each other. <laughs> Parents, come on in. Oh! The kids found out they will be battling in duos with some of the best rappers from the past season. You're biting off bars. You a lonely clone. I'm gonna exit bitty out like a chromosome. <laughs> but on the day of the battle, Lil Bree was too sick to perform. And this drove the managers crazy. So I'm finna take this by myself. They don't have to sit on those steps and get judged on a hit list. Look at my face. I don't care. In the end, Prince of New York decided to battle alone. And team by team by team, he knocked out all the competition. You just took an L, so loser's your keyword of the day. <laughs> and since Lil Bree wasn't able to compete, she didn't make it on the hit list. Ricky Bitty took fourth, because she was outshined by her partner, Super Peach. And at number one on the hit list was Rapunzel. And you showed everybody that you have this ability to go somewhere else. Can Lil Bree redeem herself, or do Rapunzel and Street Bud have the top spots locked up? It's only three weeks left, and the clock is ticking. This ain't no game, this the Rap game. Bree! <laughs> Bree is still alive with us. Thank God Bree is still alive. Last week I was sick. I didn't perform at the rap battle. I wasn't able to be on the list at all. It was bad. There's only four people on this hit list. Bree, since you ain't compete. You won't be on the hit list. I went to the doctor and I'm like, I'm feeling good. We got three more weeks left and I'm just gonna get myself together. I know I have to prove myself. I'm still in the game. All right, so it's week 11. What are we gonna do this week? We do a group challenge. I feel like we're gonna do something with a group. Y'all need to do a quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. There's been a lot of sickness going around the house. Brie actually had to opt out of the challenge. She was so ill, and Rapunzel is trying to not do that at all, at all. Maybe we do need to do a workout because everybody getting sick. We need to sweat it out. Y'all ain't worked out in forever. Y'all gonna do Y'all gonna girl. all pass out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I say that. <laughs> Last week, I came in at number four on the hit list, and it doesn't really bother me because I know that I'm not a battle rapper, but. The battle rap did kind of make some drama. Me and Rapunzel are kind of... You don't want a Rapunzel. You really don't. Yeah, but you guys ain't it. almost get popped, though. Huh? Get popped? You get popped? Especially after the battle rap. Ugh, I'm not really feeling her. It's week 11, and this week is all about hyping the crowd. You gotta do something that makes the crowd continue to party. Because if not, the people just gonna stand around and then they eventually gonna leave. Hey! It's week 11. We're all back at the house. We're wondering, like, what's gonna happen this week? Because we all been kind of like debating and kind of like questioning what we're gonna do the next week. What's up, y'all? What's up? What's up? It's week 11. This week is about getting the crowd hype and working as a team. This is gonna be a performance at a party. Who's ready to hype up the crowd? Yeah. Let's go! <laughs> when people go to parties, they want to be hyped. And if you're the person that's entertaining these people, then you got to know how to keep the party going. And you got to know how to get them hyped. Listen to what I'm saying. Hype up the crowd and perform is two things. Yeah. Right. So y'all will be writing a party anthem. And the performance that y'all are having this week will be at a Sweet 16 birthday party. Oh. All right? Whoa. Oh. This is so dope. I've always wanted to have a big party. Me, I like to turn all the way up. I feel like this would just be a lit vibe for everybody. I'm ready to get lit. <laughs> have you ever done a Sweet 16 birthday party? I've never done a birthday party, though. Oh, you're happy about this? <laughs> My mom is the best manager in the house. She the plug, she give me all the birthday party. I performed at all two chances, kids' birthday parties. I performed at Neil K and Miss Mulatto's birthday party. This is what I was made for. I can really get the crowd hyped. Like, I'm an entertainer. Like, I do this every day. We're taking these W. All right, so amongst all of that, we are going to do this group thing. Uh-oh. <laughs> we're going to do two teams, though. And we're going to do it unlike we've ever done it here before. Oh. Uh -huh. So that means that it's going to be the boys against the girls. Uh -huh. Boys versus girls. <laughs> and I, I know me and Street are gonna win. I know we're gonna win. 
I think Street Bud and Jordan is a good combination because Street Bud has got all the swag and you know what I mean? He got all the dance moves. And then Jordan got the lyrics. With the girls, they have three different type of styles. So I'm just waiting to see what's gonna happen with this. Who gonna win? I'm like, groove. Like, this not no. I got Ricky in competitive mode, you know. But now we're gonna be spending all these time with the other managers and the other kids, you know. This might be a distraction. I'm not happy. I'm like, hmm, great. They have to be on the team with Rapunzel. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> That's perfect. I'm kind of nervous because I know we're having our differences, so I don't know if that's gonna affect the challenge this week. Keep in mind, this is a party that we are throwing for somebody, right? So therefore, it's on y'all. You gotta make it pop so this little person is excited about Let's it. Let's go. All right? Yeah. All right. That person doesn't know at this particular point in time. We gonna go tell that person, too, that y'all performing at their birthday party. Oh, my God. We gonna do that today. Managers, y'all stand back while I take them. We'll fall back. Come on, let's go, let's go. I hooked up with a local radio station to host a contest. And I asked people, if you knew somebody that had a Sweet 16 party, call me up. And they did. I picked one local girl. She's turning 16, and we're going to surprise her. They're gonna look like a real ass, like, super girl rap group. That's what I'm saying. Oh. Like, everybody's already looked at... Uh, Y'all already know. know. We've said this several yeah, times that they look mad. like a superstar girl group. They we've, do. I mean, we've said this several they times do. already. They do. Of course, like, just I don't care real. about that today. Today, I, got, I already matter. got it in my head of how we're going to do this. got it. Go up there and get kid and play ready. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So at first, I wasn't feeling it working in groups. Then I'm like, hey, you know, this is a task, so let's work together and make sure everybody does well and at the same time, make sure my artist does the best. <laughs> They're gonna look amazing. Plus, they all can actually rap. The boys can too. What you trying to say? I mean, they all right. This right here working. My, like mine too. Oh, I am like the super manager. Like, I already have some ideas in mind. I'm pretty confident it's the boys' week. Sorry, girls. It's time for us to separate and talk some ideas. I'm ready to roll. Let's go. Let's get it. Now you have three masterminds working with three gorgeous girls, girls who have bars. We got this. We know what to expect from Corey because Corey does the same thing. We're not underestimating them, but they are underestimating us. We're coming out of battle week, right? Yeah. So these kids were just at each other's throat. And yeah. I'm using this because yes. this was a hard week, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, people got in their feelings, so. Yeah. Listen, what if they came on the stage and like, like it's going back until the battle? When oh, I the skip, five, I skip, you right. And yeah. then Ricky say something back. Go street, and people man, feel like, go oh, street. Oh, he's oh, he's, he's dropping. I, I thought you were so damn confident. He's if you so damn confident, why you? I just came why you, put that in y'all hands. Why, why, why you so, all. no, you, you eavesdropping. Y'all like, stay out there in the cold, we got this. Okay, no, no. Corey definitely thinks like Street Bud has this in the bag because, you know, he does those type of parties. But it's not just about Street, it's about Jordan too. And then she has to understand, we have three cute girls who are about to go extremely hard. They're gonna shock a bunch of people, so I'm excited about it. This week is all about getting the party hype and working as a team. For the first time ever here on the rap game, it's gonna be boys versus the girls. So today, I'm taking the kids to surprise Jamie, the winner of the Sweet 16 radio contest. We are gonna go to her door, and I'm gonna let her know that this season's kids from the rap game will be performing at her Sweet 16 birthday party. I definitely feel like it's every girl's dream to have an awesome Sweet 16 party. I know she's like a rap game fan and everything, so I'm just super excited to see her excited. Oh my! What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> Today I'm taking the kids to surprise the winner, Jamie, and let her know that they'll be performing at her Sweet 16 party. I mean, who wouldn't want me to knock on their door and surprise them? Ding dong! What's up? <laughs> Oh my. What's up? Yes. I heard 
heard you turned 16. Mm -hmm. You are? Yes, sir. You want to have a party with us? Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> All right. These are new kids from the rap game. Mm -hmm. And we're going to perform at your birthday party. Hey! hey. What's up? Hey. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Oh my gosh, they are all standing at my door. And Jermaine Dupree was standing right here looking swagged out like this. My like, oh, oh, my. You want to meet them? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. I am trying to keep it cool on the outside, but on the inside, I'm about to explode. <laughs> I just can't believe this. I just yeah. can't yeah. <laughs> You got to let the whole neighborhood know you're going to have a yeah. crazy party. She is just so excited that we're going to be performing at her Sweet 16. So it just makes me want to go out there and just turn up. I call my best friend Cheyenne and my best friend Brianna and my best friend Tajanae. I am so excited for a Sweet 16 party that I did not know I was having. So now that the kids know who the party's for, it's time for them to go home and get their raps together. So later on, I'm going to be sending these beats to the house that I made personally for each team. Let's get to work. Was she in shock? Yeah. yeah. When Jay knocked on the door, she was like, <sighs> like, I want y'all to walk up and give her, like, flowers. And yeah, I want to That's going to also Definitely. have the little girls like, oh, my gosh, they love it. Yeah, <laughs> got her flowers, yeah. I know Shanda is not really, like, as aggressive with her management as I am, so she's kind of, like, letting me come up with the whole concept because in this field, I do have more experience than her. Yo. What up? I want those fur coats. I want the two brightest colors that you can get. Corey and Street are from Atlanta, so she has so many connections here, it's impossible not to get what we need. I mean, just anything you could think of. I was wondering if maybe you could pull me a few, like, big, over-the-top, bulky chains. Um, oh, yeah. Thank you, BZ. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Can't keep that over there. Wait, up. so you won't do this? If you ain't on my team, yeah. go stand you over there. OK. If you a hater, you can, can keep, keep that, that over there. there. If you ain't on my team, go stand over there. there. I came up with the song, Council, and I think this song that the girls have and the energy they're going to be showing is going to stand out. It's going to shock JD because he's not going to expect that from him. Five, six, seven. If you a hater, you can keep that over there. Yeah, yeah, If you ain't on my it. team, go That's stand over there. there. You can keep, keep that, that over there. there. Man, yeah. Yeah. Tiki already kind of have like a hook that they want us to use. We don't even have a beat yet, but let's just start working now because we need to make this as smooth as possible. Right. Y'all actually look like a group. Y'all look y'all really hard, good. Y'all gonna look amazing. All y'all to do is scare the <laughs> out of everybody there or y'all won't. <laughs> no, I'm being serious. They're not gonna expect us to come out as aggressive and hard right, and right, lit. Right. We need a beat that's like quick, something catchy that people can catch on to right off the bat. Because I feel like the crowd gonna see us, they gonna be like, oh, they're pretty don't. girls. And then we come out, oh, what up? They gonna be lit. <laughs> A couple hours later, the beat show up on the computer, and I'm trying to be the first one to get to the beats because I thought there was going to be a multiple like beats that we have to choose from. So I wanted me and Street to have the best beat that we could pick. Oh, there's a track. Oh, there's my girls and boys. Everybody's worried about being able to snatch the best beat, but it wasn't an option. One was for the boys, one was for the girls. Okay, get to ours. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So the boys play their beat first, and I'm like, dang, this beat is good. Well, get ready to get killed. Hey! I already like it. Wait, hold on, let's let it come in. Let's cut. We got the turn up beat, let's go! Can you hush? <laughs> I can't hush. I'm on lit mode on my grind, yo. I'ma kill it, I promise I'll put my grind up. Oh, Any person talking, I promise I'll put like my right. It. Oh, it's fine, it's perfect, let's go. Perfect. That beat is more hype than the girls' beat. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Like, this beat is really gonna push us up because we're gonna make it, we're gonna write the dopest hook in the world. We're gonna party like we never did. It's your birthday, we gonna make it lit. Lit, 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 lit. We incorporate a very popular phrase, lit into the song, which is like one of the biggest ways to say that you're turned up. Everybody says it like it's just a new thing. Yeah. I'm so sick, I need some medicine. Uh, 
And for Jamie, we, we gon' represent. In the song that we're gonna make, I'm gonna make sure that we incorporate her name a lot. Because it's her birthday, it's not about us. And I'm the flyest dedication, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You gon' make me lose my temperament. It all meshes together so well. So our track is the ultimate lit birthday track. I know for sure that the other managers don't have this. Let's get it. Oh, yeah. That was awesome. That's it. I knew that they were going to get the better beat. But I'd be going. Why do you think they have the better beat? I think they do. They got the better beat. They got the better beat. No, they don't. No, they don't. Because let's just let's just put the music on. Everybody's kind of getting antsy. We've got these girls doing this big old hook. What if it doesn't work with the beat? I'm thinking, we're gonna make it work. Hey, if you a hater, you can keep that over there. Hey, if you ain't on my team, go stand over there. Hit it. We run through it. It's literally flawless. It incorporates the hook with eight bars for all three. Perfect. I'm like, somebody dropped the beat down from heaven. It worked. Over there. Which way? Over there. Which way? Over there. Hey, keep that over there. Uh, as soon as I heard it, that's what, it, that's what we do. Right. So no, right, right now, this makes sense because it's three of y'all. They gonna have to do twelves. At twelve, the yeah, most definitely. We only have eight bars, and I'm like, the boys have to remember twelve bars and rap longer. They still gotta turn up the crowd, and it's twelve bars for Jordan, who has been struggling with kind of remembering his raps. And it's a turn up song, which really isn't his style. We're feeling good about our situation. Bridge, count it out. Oh. He about to, he's sending y'all in. Y'all doing the intro. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. On the intro, we're doing the intro. We're going to be stepping. Oh, 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 oh. Shh. Now, listen, we can't let them know about this. Let's go. Reginald is a stepper because he's a fraternity guy. All of a sudden, my mind, ding, 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 Reginald, what about your stepping? Basically, it's you one, one step, you two, two and three, four, one. It's always a hard one. So it's one, one two, two, three. Hit. I'm a, a member of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated, a historically African-American uh, fraternity. When I was in college, I was on our step team, and we want the girls to be cute but hard. I think Bree, Ricky, and uh, Rapunzel, they were really excited about it. They thought it was dope. Let's keep it in a line. That's the more serious. All together, we just kind of made this, it's just, it's, it's just magic. And the, the issues between Rapunzel and Ricky don't seem to be having any problem. They really squashed it. We are going to destroy them. This week is all about getting the party hype and working as a team. Today, it's time to get in that rehearsal. At the end of this week, the two teams are performing at Jamie's Sweet 16 party. However, I thought about it. If it's boys versus girls, then I need to make a small change. Today's rehearsal and me and Street walk in, we're feeling great. Our verses, we got to memorize. We put Jamie's name in them. You know, we're just feeling good about it. Everybody like they beat? Everybody got to beat? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Woo. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. All right. We went to Jamie's house. Did y'all write anything for her? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's... Yeah. You wrote we about her? So, like, we put her name in it sometimes? Yeah. You put her name in it. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, all right. Yeah. Anybody? So us, we're like playing around with it. We're gonna like, I don't wanna say too much, but yeah. we're doing something. Yeah. JD was like, did y'all put Jamie in y'all song? We didn't put her name in there. And I'm thinking that's like a bad thing. Like, uh, we messed up on that end. I was asking that for a reason, because it's two people that y'all gonna be performing for, two birthday parties. So I know at first, the birthday party was only for Jamie, but it's boys versus girls. And I don't want nobody to have an advantage. So I'm adding a birthday boy to the mix. I called the radio station, and I had them pick a boy winner as well. So, happy birthday, Jalen. The girl's Jamie, and the boy's name is Jalen. It's a girl party, it's a boy party, all in one super sweet 16 party. And y'all gotta do what y'all gotta do. So JD mentions that we're gonna have a double sweet 16. The other birthday person is a guy. Ah, golly. <laughs> we got Jamie's name in our verses already. Are we gonna have to add another name? Like, how's this gonna work? What? Why would you do that? Like, I'm stressed, because, like, now I gotta change everything that I wrote. It's two people that y'all gonna be performing for. Okay. The girl's Jamie, and the boy's name is Jalen. It's a girl party, it's a boy party, all in one super sweet 16 party. JD mentions that 
we're gonna have a double sweet 16. And the other birthday person is a guy. Golly. <laughs> y'all are the performers. And y'all gotta do what y'all gotta do. So the boys used Jamie's name in their song, and they were like, they dedicated everything to Jamie. So I'm like, ah, now y'all gotta change everything. They thought they could be cool and look cute for the girls. Nope, you gotta entertain the boys now. Let's get this rehearsal going. All right, go. I'm stressed, because like now I gotta change everything that I wrote. Rotate the name in and out. Yeah. We had in our head that we were gonna do like this whole little thing to wow the ladies. So now we gotta kind of tone down the Rico Suave and the little cute hype guy. We're gonna make Jalen feel comfortable. Minor adjustments are gonna be made and we're still gonna turn up. On the specific parts where y'all are saying, Jamie, is it possible to squeeze Ooh. in both? Cause uh, it's Jamie and Jalen's birthday. Yeah, see if you can okay. slide in both because I don't wanna leave anyone out. Yeah, no, right? I feel that, I feel that. Let's go from the top. Yeah. We go party like we never did. It's your birthday like the candles, we gon' make it lit. Me and Jordan are like the total opposite. This dude is like cool, laid back. We know I'm so hype. Yeah. 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 Jordan keeps stumbling in rehearsal, which I know what's gonna happen. Why? Got all these presents is sincere to Jamie and Jamie. Oh, I gotta remember how to put Jalen in that, bro. Putting the cadence of Jamie and Jalen in our song with what we already had, it was just kind of like difficult for me. Like Jalen and Jamie, like it's just kind of like, I don't know, it's kind of hard to fit that in there. Jordan, I know you cool, and but this is what I want you to do to take your to the next level. level. Okay. Like, I want it right. to be like, look yeah. at this little boy back here. Like, all the, gr the girls are okay. going crazy. <laughs> Jordan just needs to work on his overall being comfortable on stage and taking advantage of his presence. I think once he channels his inner Jordan, like, I think he'll be fine. Um, Street, he's just doing his thing. You gonna make me lose my shit from now. Lit, lit, lit. Hey, yo, Bree, when you got a hater, where you send him? Man, I send him over there. Dead stare. Yeah, serious. Dead stare. And hold it the whole time until the beat drops. That's even better. We take it serious. We're not going to do this if y'all not going to do it serious, because then I'm going to have alphas and my swords and AKAs. Everybody going to be mad at me if these girls don't do this right. First off, y'all not going hard enough. Secondly, right. y'all are too close. I know we were in the room yesterday, but have some space. Move okay. over. By the time y'all get to like the second hook, the energy, y'all losing the energy yeah. in the hook. Y'all three have to learn how to rest, but still look like you're doing hype. something. That's right. the whole key. I'm starting to feel sick. My stomach's starting to hurt, but I'm still trying to push through it and just have a good rehearsal so that I can just get in the vibe of doing it with the group. Uh -huh. I've been popping since fifth grade. I'm I'm rapping a little different on this. I like kind of sped it up a little and try to just really like go in. I feel like even though it did like switch my style up, I feel like it also kind of works for me. Like I like it. But the main thing is y'all legs. Like y'all gotta get y'all legs yeah, gotta get it. Right. Y'all are big. Just over there, which way? Over there. I know y'all gonna get tired, but you're gonna have to fight through it. That's what the practice is for. So rehearsal starts off a little rocky. I wanna go back to the house and keep working, cause we gotta turn the crowd up, period. Wait for Rapunzel to see if she can practice. Check on Rapunzel. She's sick now. She's sick. As soon as she got her lunch, she was like, what? While we were on our break, Rapunzel really couldn't get her food down. And she's looking like she was sick. You straight? <laughs> You still feel like nauseated? What's the symptoms she had? Nauseous. Can't eat nothing. Well, we gonna let you get some rest. Just chill. Don't yeah. stress it out. Rapunzel isn't feeling too good, but like this is the rap game. You better push through it and go up on that stage and do what you have to do. Feel better. It's gonna be alright. I promise. Okay. I feel extremely nauseous and weak. I can't get my food down, so I'm just getting extremely upset. Ooh. And our plan B was some jean coats. 
And then y'all just wear y'all swag with it, your own swag. We were gonna do like no shirt with the body paint that said like happy birthday. And we were gonna win over the ladies, but now that we have a guy in place, we have to adjust a little bit, but I think we'll be all right. Either way, y'all gonna be sauced up. Yeah. <laughs> Do it okay. Again. Do it again. I'll be the third one. You know the part. Yo, you know? Ricky, when you got a hater, where you gonna send them? I'ma send them over there. <laughs> no, Come don't. On, I know I be looking crazy. <laughs> it's not over, right. I'm like a tiki. When y'all got a hater. Look how she looking. <laughs> That's how y'all need to be that's looking. She, doing it, she right. be doing it right. She's doing it right. She's doing it right. Tiki decides that she's going to be Rapunzel during the practice. And I'm like, oh my god. If you ain't on my team, don't stand over there. If you a hater, you can keep that over there. She's going harder than us. That's the funny part. She's going in. And I'm like, OK, you can, you can have it. Oh, here she come. All she wants to do is go through a bar. Yeah, I want to sit down. You ain't got to do all sit that around. Come on, ladies. I know y'all tired, but come on. Try me. I'm like houseway. Got a sweet tooth. It's a payday. Tell a hater go that way. Put them on hold like lay away. If you a hater, you can keep that over there. She okay? I was still trying to push through it, but I was getting like sicker and sicker. She's just worried because her hand is shaking. No, girl, I'll be right get back. in the bed. What's like, happening? Her hand. You need rest. She can't keep it from shaking. Come on. Y'all might have to perform without her. Here we go. Like, first, it was your week last week, Bree, and now it's Rapunzel's week. But the show must go on. Figure it out. <laughs> okay, okay. Lay down, what's wrong? I don't know. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. Come on. Mm -hmm. Rapunzel is completely overwhelmed. She did have a fever, and she had the shakes. What's wrong with you? You got to talk to me. Talk to me. You want to go to the doctor to say it will go? Yeah. You want to go to the doctor? Yeah. All right, well, let's get up. Let's get, let's get you to the doctor then. I was feeling really, really sick, like physically and mentally. And I know how much I'm capable of dealing with, so I just don't like getting stressed out or worked up about anything. I don't want to let my team down. It is weighing on me. working as a team. Today is party day for Jamie and Jalen, the two winners of the Super Sweet 16 birthday bash. I hope the boys and the girls are prepared for their performances today. When I was 16, I was on tour working. I ain't getting no party. These 16-year-old kids, they get a party from me and the rap game. Let's party. I'm still thinking about my baby girl. My mind keeps going back to yesterday with her being shaky. We went to the doctor just making sure that she was OK. And she's feeling better. Rapunzel knows it's crunch time, it's go time, and there's a lot expected of her. What's up, y'all? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? I brought my man B.O.B. with me. Y'all know B.O.B. makes it. Glad to be a part of the show, man. Shouts out to J.D. for having me, man. I brought my man B.O.B. with me. And right now, B.O.B. got this song that's called Faux Lit, and it's probably one of the hottest rap records out right now. Not only is B.O.B. my celebrity guest for the Sweet 16 party, but he's going to also help me critique these groups and tell me which one is Faux Lit. I brought kids from the rap game with me. They're going to perform. Yeah. I'm excited for today's performance. We're about to perform at somebody's Sweet 16. Now I'm nervous because yesterday, Rapunzel was sick. We are the party, so if we don't bring it, then the party is going to be wet. It's a lot of pressure, a lot of pressure. So we're going to let the girls go first, then the fellas going to come up here. Now, I'm hoping and praying that these kids can pump up the party. I don't really want nobody to be complaining that their birthday party wasn't lit because JD and these little kids from the rap game. You can't just be putting my name on a party and the party don't pop, so this party has to be jumping. Yeah, the girls coming to the stage. The last time we were in front of a crowd was a circus, and that was, like, another group thing. I just feel good about today. We gonna chew these boys up and spit them back out because we got them in the bag this week. Rapunzel, when you got a hater, where you gonna send them? Man, I send them over there. Now listen, I'm gonna need y'all to repeat after me, Ricky and Rapunzel. Y'all ready? So when y'all got a hater, where y'all gonna send them? Oh, yeah. 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 DJ, run that beat. Let's go! Hey, 
with low energy and no hunger. At least that's what I thought. But now I'm feeling all of that. I'm feeling she has the hunger and I'm feeling the energy. This don't seem like the same Rapunzel that I'm used to. Something doesn't seem right. She's a little off right now. front of the stage and she does her rap and the way her bars is written the crowd starts to go crazy that's all i'm paying attention to who has the spark who makes the crowd move who catches people's eye all of that's important for me tough for these boys. I hope they understand that and I hope they watching feeling like, man, we gotta go up here and kill it. It's not nothing, bro. Bro, we got to go with Ned, bro. Yeah. I think the girls did good, but they didn't make a birthday song. Me and Jordan, we got this. Jordan got to turn up. I'm going to turn up. Like, I'm going to bring everything that they can't bring. What's up, what's up, what's up? The girls did an amazing job. They looked like a group. But I know for a fact that my baby is going to hype the crowd up. I know for a fact that his presence is going to wow these kids. What's up, what's up, what's up? What's up, y'all, what's up? I'm just, like, excited for this birthday party. I stepped out of the box this week. I'm here to show JD that I can be versatile. I'm going to try to, like, put my swag on. Like, you know, like, Street's going to have his little Mac on. And we're just going to go hard. I'm going to be hype. We're going to be lit. It's done. <laughs> So I'm looking out in the audience, I see Shanda and I see Corey giving out these flashlights. I'm like, oh, okay. When, what's gonna happen here? These flashlights gotta get out like ASAP. And I just am so excited for this performance because we work very hard for this. Before I start anything, I need y'all to cut this mic up. Nah, for real. I'm ready for this performance. Like, I perform at kids' birthday parties. Jordan better not forget his lyrics. It's gonna be better than the girls. This is our chance to go. This is our chance to ah, take over. What I need y'all to do is I need y'all to put them flashlights up and get lit with us, all right? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? stage with Jordan. I don't know if he forgot his lyrics. I don't know if he meant to do it. It's hard to say with Jordan if he's ever rapping the lyrics that he's written. I gotta find out what happened.
think that Street Bud is trying to overperform Jordan because he knows that Jordan's not a dancer. Street Bud is out there doing all of the dances that just came out. However, this was a great performance from him, but at the same time, their song is not better than the girls. pretty good, you know what I mean? I think the crowd was hype. Guys did a great job. Right here, bro. Happy birthday, man. Happy birthday. If I had to pick the best group, I'm gonna have to say the girls. The crowd could easily catch on to the hook. Like, if you have haters, keep that over there. Overall, it was great. Y'all feel this. I feel like the girls, they had a lot of energy, but the boys, they brought, like, a lot more energy. Yeah! This is by far the best birthday party anybody can ask for, party of the year. We brought the birthday boy and the birthday girl on stage. Jordan and I got this in the bag. What up, what up, what up, what up, what up? What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's, up? what's, up? what's going oh, on, man? It? So now that my man B.O.B. has seen all the kids perform, I think it's time they hear from him. What he got to say, what he thought of their performances. Hey, I was impressed, like, man, thoroughly impressed. Like, man. That's what's up. Y'all was, was way yeah. better than I was when I was 15. <laughs> <laughs> He's 12. He's 12. Yeah. 12, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Salute to you, man. Right, That's right. amazing, man. I like how y'all interact with the crowd. How y'all had the, the flashlights and the, uh, yeah. the scarves. That's yeah. that's clever. That's genius. Yeah, y'all got it. Hey. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. All right, so y'all got y'all work for B.O.B. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see y'all back in the house. All right. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> Fold it. You know. <laughs> Overall, the kids did great. You know, for them not to be up on the stage over the last six weeks, they all looked like they was really ready to perform, and they had been doing this a lot. But one of the teams impressed me more than the other. All right, y'all, let's go, let's go. Let's do it. This week was all about hyping up the crowd and working together as a team. They had to perform at Jamie and Jalen's Sweet 16 party. What's up, y'all? What's, What's up? What's up? The girl group did the best. We had everything together. We all put our ideas together. Nobody argued. I just felt like we worked very well together. It's week 11, and this week was about hyping the crowd and working together as a team, putting y'all as guys versus girls. That's never happened here before. How did y'all feel about that? The fellas, oh, it was teams. Dope. It was dope. We worked easily together, actually. Yeah, that was easy. All right, so girls, what was that like for y'all? Ricky still had her style, Rapunzel still had her style, and I made sure I still had mine. So it all just went together good. All right. All right, all right. Well, overall, I'm gonna say that the girls won this challenge, fellas. Yeah. I thought me and Street were better than the girls, personally. They didn't make a birthday song. We made a birthday song, brought them up on stage, all of that. You know, it just sucks. Even though it wasn't a party anthem for a birthday, y'all was pretty much like a little group. The choreography alone made y'all look like y'all knew what y'all was doing. As far as the choreography goes, where, where does this come from? Reginald <laughs> came up with the uh, step. <laughs> and Reg can step his butt off. Okay, can, 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 get it, man. Do something different. I knew Corey wasn't gonna do that, so I was like, all right, that's cool. <laughs> that's good though, I like that. <laughs> all right, so without further ado, let's get into this week's hit list. At number five on this week's hit list is. It's week 11. This week was about hyping the crowd. At number five, on this week's hit list is Flyboy Jordan. I was top three for like the last five weeks. 
Number five, that sucks. That's boo-boo. <laughs> it's whack. Now, let me ask you a question. Did you forget your lyrics? No. You didn't? No. It seemed like something happened. No, I just lost my breath. We got all the presents here. Was it because the song was hyper? I think I was yelling, getting hype, all of that. OK. I'm going to stay on you about memorizing your raps. But if you're saying you lost your breath, then that's something you got to fix. I'm going to kill it these next two weeks. I don't care what anybody else in the house has to say, because I want this more than anybody else in the house. All right, let's keep moving. At number four on this week's hit list is. Number four, like, I feel like I was supposed to have number one because I was the most hype out of everybody. You was a super entertaining dude. Your performance was strong, you look right. But the lit thing, I felt like that was almost a recycle from the circus. And I'm only saying this to you because I feel like that part came from you. It did. It come from you? Yeah. All right. Lit, 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 lit. Y'all had a, a brilliant idea with the lights, but it's the fact that y'all in a battle with the girls. Ultimately, their song just was better than y'all. We made a birthday song. They made a hater song. Like... Let's keep it moving. It's three spots left, and it's all held by the girls. Number three on this week's hit list is... Rapunzel. Your energy levels seem a little low to me. Is there a reason why? This week was a hard week for me. I was basically sick the whole week. I'm still sick right now. Hating on the princess. They all say, boys want my love. They all say. All right, we got to get you right. You got two weeks. My focus right now is getting my immune system together and my body together so that I can bring it back to the previous performances that I've had where my energy was better. All right, so now it's two spots left between Lil Bree and Ricky Bitty. Whew, it just feels good to be back in top two again, like from being at the bottom last week. So I really brought the energy and just turned up. So I definitely feel like I got number one. Honestly, I know it has to be me. Like, my comeback was great. When I performed, the crowd went crazy. The energy level went up. It went higher. And they loved me. So I'm like, I got to get this number one spot. And number two on this week's hit list is... Ricky. I don't know why I was really number two. I just feel like this was the best performance that I've done here. Like, I turned up. The crowd was, like, so hyped for us. I think you did the best that I've seen. I can't say nothing bad about your performance. But when Brie came with her verse, the excitement level went up. It wasn't really much that I could separate. All right, so at number one on this week's hit list, it's a little Brie. Boom. I got the number one spot. Last week, I wasn't able to be on the list at all. And then to hit number one, wow. To go from not being on the hit list to number one says a lot for you. The first four bars of your rap, the way you had came on that beat made them kids in their audience say, oh, hey, wait a minute. This was not no play play, and I'm really glad that y'all took this as serious as y'all did. It's two weeks. One week of a real challenge. Another week of a performance. Next week won't be about the crowd decision. It's all about me. Y'all just got to swing your own. Everybody got to go for it. All right? All right. Yes. I'll see y'all. All right. All right. It's time for these kids to bring everything. Because in just two weeks, I'm signing one of these kids to my label. You know, this ain't no game. Say it with me. This the rap game. <laughs> Next time on The Rap Game. I'm going to get this tag, you hear me? I want to get this tag. This week is all about the press. What makes you think you're good enough to, to even be named in the same breath as these grades? My underarms started to sweat. I feel like I have that in my, in my, like, in my, um... Jordan, really? You want to do a live interview? Oh, Hi. my God! 
Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. This is Tiana Taylor. Whitney Bar till I can't breathe. Hey. I was in a room with Tiana Taylor and I didn't even know it. That's crazy. This is the final hit list at this house. The hit list always creates a level of anarchy. I'm mad. I could put a whole in the refrigerator. I could. Death.